Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of this August 2nd, 2021. Listen closely, that is a trolley car. We have made it to San Francisco. San Francisco! Your old stomping grounds, you lived here for a number of years. My home. This is your, you, this is your home. <laughs> you are back, you're gonna show me around. Yesterday, August 1st, was your birthday. We traveled up, did the James Dean spots. My birthday is August 10th. We will be here up until a couple days before that, give or take. No real super game plan. <laughs> but we're, this is kind of our my birthday and your birthday in between wedged yeah. little- Birthday set. collaboration. Collaboration, vacation, whatever you want to call it. And you're gonna show me around some of the sights, the sounds, and the ambiance of San Francisco. Yeah, and the food. <laughs> and the food. We're gonna do a lot of that. Today I would like to ride the trolley. You were saying you've never, in all the time you lived here back in the day, you never rode the trolley. You said it's too touristy. Well, you just pay to get on it, so I never use my bus. Like, yeah, I just never have done it. Never it's done one of those things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna we're going to I'm gonna convince you to go on the trolley, which you've never done. I've never done it either. And then from there, just kind of see where the wind blows. And it is very windy and very cool. <laughs> I'm wearing a hoodie. Which it doesn't, it's kind of a neat mess. You got Mickey Mouse and Leatherface here combined. Those are your personalities. Fair <laughs> There's a guy doing push ups over there on, no, he was doing pull ups on the walk signal. Getting fit. There's always something happening. Join me. <laughs> Shall you? pair of sunglasses I've been using broke last night, so I ended up buying another one today. I think these were like ten dollars. Got them at the got them at one of the stores around. Nothing too fancy. They'll do the trick. At 9:30, this is the this is the congregation of folks who have lined up. And you were just mentioning to me that usually it's a lot longer. This it's like a three or four hour wait sometimes, right? Yeah, it can be so lengthy it goes up the block, like the whole block of people. Sometimes it'll, st you were saying sometimes it stretches all the way down that way. Now what'll happen is number 17 over here will go over to this section and it'll, they'll spin it around. Oh, there we go, there's a little example. Okay, that's where we're standing, right there, right? Yeah, we're like right here. Okay, we're right there. What happens is the trolley comes down, does a 360, and then they manually push it back onto the track and then you go up the hill, so we'll get to witness that. We're getting pretty lucky. We're having we're having some pretty good luck. We acquired on, if you need to buy pre-purchase tickets, the cable cars have just returned. Yeah, they just came back up and running. So. There's quite a bit of news media around. I'm noticing there's some cameras yeah, around. Maybe yesterday was the first day, because we didn't see anyone on it. They were testing it, and now it's the second day of August. Which we checked in, we checked into a place around here last night, kind of wandered around off camera. We weren't filming any videos. We did the James Dean thing. And we saw them testing it, so this must be the this must be the first day, first August day August second. Yes. And it's free. And it's free. Go August. It's free for the month of <laughs> August. I knew there was a good reason to be born in this month. Oh yeah. Besides Week. being a leader. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of a lot of camera presence over here documenting this historic occasion. Oh, this is so cool. What are the odds? This wasn't even planned. We are witnessing the return yeah. of the trolleys. Okay, now he over here he like kind of pulls this little mechanism up. Oh, so it's all manual. He unlashes that. And now this this reminds me of the amphicars at Disney Springs where they spin it around to go back in the water. Take a look at that. That is really cool. So yeah, it's all manual. Let's see they Kind of grabbing onto the side there, spinning the trolley around. Oh, look. Wow. You gotta put your back into it. Okay, no drinks. No food and drink allowed. Now they spin it back. Wow. 
And there's another, oh, they're crossing over. Got both of them crossing over there. And that's what, Market Street? Nice, look at those over there. Oh, there's another, there's, a, there's also some buses that also run with the wires across the top. Take a look at this, testing in progress. Municipal Railway. There we go. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh. Pull the cord to stop. Okay, it's normally $8. It's happening. Pretty dang cool. This is the historic Lombard Street. Wow. Yes. Jumped off a little bit early. Look at that. So what is it? What tower is that? Point Tower. Call, Point Tower, and then Golden Gate. It's rumored that the top of it is supposed to look like the tip of a fire hose because the lady's no. husband who built it, out. she put that for her um, secret lover. Wow. Oh, and you can walk down Lombard. Yeah, they're not using it to drive. Normally you have to pay to drive down the street. Wow, that is so cool. To get the photo. So what would be the next kind of like pivotal place that, you, that I should see in this area once we start walking down Lombard? Once we're done with Lombard, then we'll walk to the pier. Walk over to the pier? Yeah. Oh, there's a car trying to get through. I guess they are. Oh, what is this thing too? Look at this. I need one. Oh, okay. Traffic tickets. I guess you do, you can drive down Lombard. This gentleman's getting a great photo. Right there. That's a good spot right there. Better spot up here. That's good? Heading down. I like you guys are in San Francisco, you're wearing your bell bottoms. Very, very nice. And you got the, so this is like little grooves so you don't slip on this, but there's also the little stairs here. Sebastian, come up the other way. The other side. 
Okay, now we're going back to this now getting more into steps here. If you had one of these apartments, you would definitely see a lot of tourists on a daily basis standing outside your window taking photos. They got their camera out, documenting for posterity there, going down Lombard. Very windy street. <laughs> we lived right there. Getting home would not be the easiest. This is probably why cars are frowned upon going down here because they lose control and smash into the sides. Just contemplating what the rent through here would be for for a two bedroom. If you had to guess, what would a, what would a rent in this area? What would, what's it called Knob Hill? What would what would a and what would a Knob Hill apartment, like a two bedroom apartment, cost per month if you were to rent it? You think? Um, at least eight. Eight thousand a month. Uh, with this view, even more because a lot of these are like million dollar homes. Wow, eight thousand a month. That's probably low balling it. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's not even accounting for the new brake pads you got to get on a on a yearly basis. All right, get this for posterity here. Bottom of Lombard. Did it. Did it. Except we didn't go up it. We walked down. Much easier than trotting up the hill. Ten the stairs. Just informed by Natalie about this little kind of secret garden over here on Leavenworth. Shakespeare Garden, she calls it. She doesn't know if it's officially... You've never officially heard that though, right? From what I remember, I think that's what it's called. Was I heard that, but it's just like a cool little secret garden. I would call this Shakespeare Garden if I was in this area. And it's open to the public. Anyone can walk in here and do some contemplating, some thinking, rest their weary bones from all the walking up and down the hills. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh, being watched from the rooftops. Got a nice little bird's eye from up there, don't you? Now the station of the ones we were on would have ended right here at Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, a nice touch with the seagulls squawking in the background. Off in the distance, Golden Gate Bridge. And from this view, gonna head over to Girardelli Square I kind of want a coffee. Is it pronounced Girardelli or Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. Now is this the first one? The very first, and there's quite a few around town. And of course I've been to the one on Hollywood Boulevard, I've been to the one at DCA. But this is the first one, it is massive. And of course, with everything in this area, a lot of, a lot of walking and <laughs> stairs are involved. Get my steps in. Oh no. They are preparing our piping hot caffeinated beverage here at Foghorn Coffee, which is located next to the chocolate building dated 1911, according to that sign at the tippy top up there. And the woolen mill back in the 1860s is now the marketplace. I went with the hazelnut latte. You went with the- uh, Dirty chai tea. Dirty chai tea. I really like how beautiful this looks. I say, I say, I say, boy. Remember Foghorn Leghorn? Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad joke, but kind of works. <laughs> That's a really bad imitation, too. <laughs> oh, very interesting. There are people out there swimming around in the water. Yeah, check it out. Oh, there we go. Check this out. This is like a tour of some sort in the little VW bus right here. Doing a, doing a little U turn, circling around. Going back up the hill next to the Blue Mermaid Chowder House. And you can see the trolleys up the top too. Oh wow, take a look at that. That's right, that, I, I wanna do that at some point. You know, not maybe not this trip, but at some point I wanna do that. Perfect time in there. The cable car going by, Fisherman's Wharf. Some seafood will be on the agenda today at some point. Definitely some seafood is on the agenda. They also do the big bus tours here. Open top, you can sit on the top of it as well. That's one way to get around the city. There's a submarine right here. Take a look at this, submarine. And of course, another staple of San Francisco, Boudin right here on Fisherman's Wharf. 
with the bread conveyor belt that's stalled at the moment, but when they have some fresh bread that will move along and you can check it out. There's a crab, there's a piece of bread shaped in the form of a crab up there. The secret to sourdough is an ancient method of making bread rise using only wild yeast present in the local environment. Caught from the air and cultivated with a mixture of water and flour. Man, you get a little behind this, well, it's not really behind the scenes, it's, it's right here along the walkway. They do this so you can see how it's all prepared. Making all the, the bread in there. Oh, is that an alligator? Yeah, check it out. There's an alligator, a piece of alligator bread. And a turtle. Check out the conveyor belt there. With the, with the dough going across, heading towards the oven. It is a whole setup in here. Oh, got him some bread. Even the fire department. Picking up some fresh bread. This is Jefferson Street. Do not climb on the Guardians of the Gate sculpture. The sea lions here. Of course, Pier 39. Probably the most famous pier here in San Francisco. I feel like one day in my life I need to get a vehicle like this. Pretty neat. It's got the emblem here, Pier 39. Of course, mine won't say Pier 39, but if I ever owned a lot of property, I'd want one of these, kind of, just kind of one of these, uh, just get me around the neighborhood. And to get over to the Sea Lions, gotta stroll down this touristy section and kind of loop back. Do truly love the vibe here. It is a lot more laid back. I mean, it's still busy, but it doesn't have that, that LA, it doesn't have that LA vibe. I might, I might not be making much sense, but very beautiful. A little quieter and more laid back than Los Angeles. And it's about six hours five to seven hours depending on how fast you drive so it's not if for those who have never been to California it's kind of similar to going from Jacksonville Florida down to Miami distance wise give or take they're not they're not next to each other not a whole lot out today probably because of the summer months but there are a few down at the end kind of frolicking around there <laughs> Going in the water? Nope, just curling up there, huh? See ya. According to this, in the summertime, they head to the Channel Islands south to Mexico. Oh, over here is kind of a loner. <laughs> just stretching, enjoying the day, having a little scratch. Yeah, usually every one of these floating Planks here is full, hundreds and hundreds of sea lions. Taking a little snoozage. Now I've often asked this about Orange County, California. People that are from there don't like to call it the OC. People from San Francisco don't really care for San Fran Ugh. or Frisco. Yeah, or San Fran is like the worst. Really? Oh my gosh. So, I, but I've, I've, I'm guilty of saying it to you before. <laughs> What's some of the other? You got Frisco. Frisco. But usually. Most just call it the city. It's just the city. The, the city. city. When someone says, I'm going to the city, even when they're not from San Francisco, you know they're talking about San Francisco. Yeah, even a lot of the merch here just says the city. So you can tell a tourist, me, when someone says, we're in San Fran. You um, go, tourist. Yeah, just say the full name.
Gonna grab some seafood over here at the wharf. One of these little pop-up, well, these little stands over here. I really don't know what to, you got fresh crab, we got clam chowder. Have you eaten any of these before? I've eaten all of them. You've eaten it all of them? Mm -hmm. What would be your suggestion? Um, I like Nick's Lighthouse a lot. I also like this one. Nick's Lighthouse? Okay, we're gonna go with Nick's Lighthouse. And they do have outdoor seating, but it's very, very sunny out here at all of them. They said they do have indoor seating, so I guess we could go, go inside and eat. Number five, that's the name of the stand. Number five is Nick's. What are you seating in here? Thank you. This is awesome. Look at the theming all through here. Look at the chandeliers. They look like little seashells as well. Oh, look at this. Cool. I believe I'm going to get the lobster bisque with crackers bowl, not in the bread bowl. Then I'm also going to get a seasonal green salad with bay shrimp. That's what I'm going to get. You know what you're going to get? Yeah, got a half dozen of the blue blue point oysters, and I'm going to get a lobster roll. And a lobster roll. Yeah. There we go. Nice lobster roll is over there. Okay, we've decided. Just gotta order. Go for it. Give me the, give me the little, give me the lemon squeeze over here on top of there. Almost like a commercial. So this is only the second time in my entire I'll life. Slurp it. Slurp it? Yeah, just slurp it in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> just and then swallow. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's the word? Briny? Briny. Very, very oceany. Very oceany. I don't dislike it, but I'm not saying I like it. Not bad though. You obviously like them. I love them. They are one of my favorite things. Now got some bread here with some grassland butter. You can kind of smear all over it. Oh, got the little slices in it. And I went with the crab. What do they call it? Crab bisque, bisque, <laughs> which is like a soup. I opted out of the bread bowl. And I got this and a salad. Warm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's got some, some pieces of corn in there, too. Warm. Little teeny tiny shrimps. They're like a big pile of them. There's a lobster roll there. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot going on in there. Whole lot of lobster. That was good. Nick's Lighthouse, which is number five here on Fisherman's Wharf. Pretty tasty. Only one of my favorite spots in the city, or at least on the pier. Now gonna walk from Pier 39 down to Pier 31, about a two mile stroll, passing by Pier 39 again. And there are some very colorful sea lions here, the aquarium by the bay, and there is a version of Bruce up there, kind of dangling from that two-ton little like holder. It says two ton. Oh, he's swaying. You know what? I don't think he's really two tons because unless he's unless that's a really unless a hurricane gale force wind swaying back and forth there, right. <laughs> probably like the Universal Backlot Tour made of plastic. I stand corrected. It was not Pier 31 I was thinking of. We're walking down to Pier 1. That's why it is two miles. It says you are here. So we still got a way to go past nine. And then, it. you can see it? Yeah, it's just the, well, kind of through the trees. Hello pigeons, very decent view of downtown from this angle also. All the skyscrapers and buildings there. This is pretty neat. There is a, there's kind of like a bowl looking item over there. A little half sphere and another half sphere over here. And you can talk and it will echo across the sound waves. Making my way over to the little sphere here. Oh my gosh, I can hear you. Hello. Me too. Wow. Is that cool? 
That is so cool. It's like we're standing next to each other. Give me a wave and say hi, I'm waving. Hi, I'm waving. Hello, I'm waving back. I can hear you so clear, it's okay. <laughs> wow. Say something a little louder, like hello! Hello! Say a little louder. Hello! Wow. That is neat. That's so cool. I can hear you so clearly. <laughs> Can I try a little whistle? Oh wow, I can hear you all. I can't whistle. Give me a, give me a, give me a sound effect of some sort. Um, what do you want? What do you want? Give me something loud, go. What do you want? That's pretty dang cool. We did it. That is neat. You're way over there. Like a good 30 yards. I would have never known about that if you hadn't brought it up. Yeah, they used to have it installed closer downtown to promote the Exploratorium, and then they moved them down here. Got a ferry boat across the way. The Hornblower Bell, San Francisco Bell. <laughs> and across the, the Bay Bridge on the other shore is Oakland. And Treasure Island. So that's Treasure Island? Yep. So the Bay Bridge goes right through Treasure Island? Yep, and then there's the newer bridge, right? Well, newer, it's like five years new, is right on the other side too. And then you get into Berkeley and Oakland on that side. So Berkeley's over there too. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the bridge from the graduate. <laughs> he it's drove the... that way, but he was going to San Francisco, not Berkeley. Yeah, okay. Double-decker bridge. Yep. Traffic on the bottom is heading over to Berkeley. Traffic on the top is going to San Francisco. More or less. More or less. Incoming the F down Market Street. Oh yeah, it's the one that looks like the taxi almost. We're getting ready to get on this one. Number 1057. We're in the we're in the back of the bus. Back of the bus. And in order to, to get on here we had to use the clipper card. You load some money on this and this is how you get around. Whoa, we're moving, we're moving. They do not wait long. Very efficient. This is pretty neat. Pretty neat. It runs off uh, electricity. The electric wires go just over the top of the transportation device up and down the roads. The windows are open, so you get a nice little breeze through here. Yeah, there's plenty of elbow room. Not a lot of people on this particular one. It's called the Muni? M-U-N-I? The Muni. Is that the, trans the, the name for the transportation through the city? Yep, all the underground and above buses are all called Muni. So there is a subway also? Yeah, oh, there's a subway. Next stop, Ferry Street, Kearney. Okay, we're gonna get off and check out the Patty Hearst Bank. Here's one of the photos from the surveillance footage. Patty Hearst inside there. His family might still or did own this building. Doing a little construction on it. Can you pull up the other photo, the close-up photo? So she just crossed the street over. Good up. <laughs> so that right there, as it focuses, is inside. What year was that? Do you have any idea? Could you look it up real quick? Yeah. 1974. 1974. The name of this building is The Hound. Very interesting with the gold little staircases. And straight ahead there is Dragon Gate. Entrance into Chinatown. Just waiting for the cross signal to change. Walk over. I really like this this old neon here called the Empress Jewelry and Fine Arts. Yeah, that is so cool. This whole area through here is pretty neat. Here's another one I really like. Golden Star Radio, that old neon there. That is old school, all rusted out. Beautiful. Wow, Sacramento Street is like straight up. 
Look at that. A serious angle. I'm gonna walk through the tunnel now, right? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna go up the stairs up? Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, I see some stairs from here. I mean, we can walk through right? That signage up there says, quiet through the tunnel. I believe you're not supposed to like honk the horn. So we could take the stairs or we could just walk through it. No honking. Let's see if anyone honks. Gonna dump out at Union Square. Pretty long tunnel, very long tunnel. Oh, not following the no honking rule. Been doing quite a bit of walking, getting the steps in. Worked up a little bit of a thirst. Got a strawberry acai refresher. You got a tea. Black iced tea. <laughs> tea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and now we're almost over to Union Square put some steps in. I feel like I'm starting to get my bearings a little bit though. Yeah. Not as good as you because you know your way around really well. I would be lost but I'm starting to do it a little bit better since this morning. I've got to kind of get, get my bearings. The address on either these apartments or this hotel up here. Oh, apartments. Their apartments? Yeah. There are three Sixes, and that's the name of it too. Looking at the awning. Yeah, check it out. Damien? Damien? Probably lives there. Also passing by Hotel Vertigo. And if you've seen the film, classic film from back in the day. You with me, because this is a this is where the filming locations took place. You would say Hitchcock would be proud of how much I've walked today. There are some signatures here in handprints in the pavement in front of the Hotel Diva as well. Got Stevie Wonder over here, Angelica Houston, Tony Curtis, scribbled in some like it hot. We've got Devo right here as well. Even Danny Glover is etched right in here. Joan Rivers back in 2007. You can see the shade kind of overpassing it as well. Pretty neat. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Years of the world's largest or longest running, The Phantom, which took place right over here at this theater. Probably that one. Oh, that one. That one there. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. There you go. The Geary Theater. Pretty cool. Oh, almost just like a red carpet. They rolled out the red carpet, but in fact, it's just a do not drive zone. Buses only. <laughs> Buses only. Yeah, these handprints just pass by. Notice, well, who the heck are all these, these handprints here? Very cool. Carol Channing. Okay. And that's going to do it for today. Whoa, it just changed. I did 18,626 steps today, not counting the elevation up and down the hills, just between... I don't know, between 9.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Woo! That's a lot in a short time frame like that. You can see the dip down where we're having the, the seafood there on the on the wharf at the, at the waterway. More San Francisco in the following days. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. This right here is a towaway zone. Just, just saying. The vlog is over.